It is seven degrees outside right now on our way to an overnight low of negative two in Denver. The kind of night where XL Energy scolding us to turn down our thermostats can feel like natural gaslighting. Our Marshall Zellinger did the math on how much one degree up or down adds up as we look at soaring energy bills. If I went from 64 to 65 degrees tonight, can you tell me or can we calculate how much that's going to cost? Yes, we can definitely ca calculate that. Paolo Tabarez is a professor of mechanical engineering at the Colorado School of Mines. He did some neat calculations using an online computer program that built a 1,000 square foot home, 2,000 and 3,000, and the math is essentially the same. For every degree that you either increase or decrease, you're going to increase by about 3% your heating bills. If you decrease it by one degree, uh, you're going to decrease your bills by 3%. So let's use the bill we've been showing you, which covers 33 days of gas use. These are all the charges that are associated with the gas. Added together, this is roughly $120. 3% of that is $3.60. For this homeowner, if they were to increase their thermostat one degree tonight and do that every day for the month, that's $3.60 more. Decrease one degree every day for the month, that's a savings of $3.60. If you say, you say, well, that's not really much, and I agree, only $3, right? But if you, if you reduce it five degrees, right, uh, from 70 to 65, you're talking about 15%. Part of Excel's messaging to help customers save on their energy bills includes lower your thermostat a few degrees. If each degree saves 3%, based on the example I showed you, lowering a few degrees tonight would save this person 11 cents for one degree, around 55 cents for five degrees. So what I do is I lower my the set point thermostat to 58 degrees Fahrenheit for the entire house. CU architectural engineering professor Dr. John Zai got a high gas bill recently and is taking an extreme approach. He minimizes his furnace use at night and heats just the one occupied bedroom. The space heater I use, I use for eight hours at night. I use the minimal heat. It may just like a 200 watts because I use the setting one. So that one will lower the total energy consumption. So on the one hand, We've got the, do you want to save 11 cents a night or spend 11 cents a night by upping the thermostat by a degree? On the other hand is, do you want to freeze out the pets in the house or just never step foot outside of a bedroom that you're in and use a space heater, which then uses electricity, not, not exponentially more yeah. in terms of the heat, and then you perhaps have fire risk and all that stuff. Uh, he, that Dr. Uh, Zai from CU got the high gas bill. He's trying it out for the first time. I can't tell you if he saved any because his next bill will show how much he has saved if this works. In that example, 11 cents for one degree. Tonight it's going to be negative two degrees out. I would wager that 11 cents is probably worth it to save my marriage. I don't know about yours. I would, I would spend 22 or 33 cents to save my marriage if that's what it came to. You know? 22 cents and yeah. an extra snuggle. Yeah, how, how about that? Tonight's the night when you need it all. Marshall, thank you. Thank you.